Hi, I'm a water drop, and I'm a big deal here in East San Diego County, where an important water project is being planned. You'll learn what happens to water after it goes down the drain to create recycled water, and then how advanced technology is used to purify that recycled water to create water we can all drink. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Melissa McChesney. I'm the communications manager for East County Advanced Water Purification. We're so excited to have you on a tour here today and we're starting it off at the Ray Stoyer Water Recycling Facility. I'm so excited to share some of these important processes with you. Do you ever wonder what happens to your wastewater when it goes down the drain? We're here to share with you the first few treatment steps at this first stop along the way. Let's go ahead and get a closer look. Come on along. Here we are at the biological nutrient removal process. This is part of the secondary treatment for recycled water. Take a look at the water basins around me. You'll see some really fascinating views of what's happening throughout this process. This process is an anaerobic process that involves millions of microorganisms churning and eating up the phosphorus and nitrogen within the water to prepare it for the next step of our treatment process. The next step we're gonna take a look at is our chlorine contact basin. Here we are at the final step of the water recycling process. We just came from our biological nutrient removal process behind me. Now let's take a closer look at this final step, the chlorine contact basin. You'll see in this process, if you look down, you'll see the water is much cleaner than in our last step that we took a look at. Through this process, the water goes through these chlorine contact basins and is mixed with chlorine. And at the end of that process, it meets federal recycled water standards. At that point, the water can be used in our community for irrigation purposes at locations like schools, parks, and golf courses. Also, this water is used to fill Santee Lakes and provide the recreation preserve that it is for our community. Additionally, we're looking at taking this recycled water to a further standard and producing drinking water. Let's take a closer look with Kyle Swanson at our Advanced Water Purification Demonstration Facility to learn more about how that would work. Thanks, Melissa. Hi, I wanna welcome you now to the East County Advanced Water Purification Demonstration Facility. That's this facility right here behind me. I'm Kyle Swanson, and I'm gonna take you on a journey walking through the different processes or treatment processes that take place at this demonstration facility. This facility was brought online in 2015 and has gone through years of extensive, consistent testing to prove that the water that it produces is safe, reliable and of the highest quality. This demonstration facility is kind of a proof of concept. The water that is produced is tested on a rigorous basis. It's not sent out to customers. The very first process that I'm gonna introduce you guys to is membrane filtration. Let's go take a look at that. All right, here we are at the first step of the treatment process at the demonstration facility and it's called membrane filtration. And in this process, water is pumped through the bottom of each of these canisters here. Now, each one of these canisters are filled with tiny straw-like filters. So as the water makes its way into the bottom of the canister, particulates, things that we don't want to keep in the water, are filtered out. The water that we want to keep makes its way through the straws and out the top of the filter. That water is kept and it goes on to the next treatment process reverse osmosis. So let's go take a look at that. Here we are at the second step of the treatment process at the demonstration facility. It's called reverse osmosis. These tubes behind me are filled with layers and layers of filters. Each filter removes particulates down to 100,000 times smaller than a human hair. Now as water makes its way through these tubes, particulates such as viruses, bacteria, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, plastics are removed through the reverse osmosis process. At the end of the treatment process, purified water near distilled in quality is left. 
from reverse osmosis, the water makes its way over to advanced oxidation. Let's go look at that process next. Here we are at the advanced oxidation process. Water leaving the reverse osmosis process makes its way through the tubes and pipes over to this stainless steel ultraviolet reactor. Now at the top and bottom are two purple knobs. You may be able to see them. They're connected to ultraviolet lamps. Water is pumped through and those lamps emit a high intensity light that disinfects the water. Chlorine is also added to complete the advanced oxidation process. This process is very similar and is used to sterilize surgical equipment. Now as the water leaves this reactor, minerals are added to stabilize the pH. From here, water travels over to the free chlorine process. This is the last step in the purification process and it's called free chlorine. In this process, water makes its way through these tubes. You can see the arrows showcasing the direction of the water flow where chlorine is added to totally disinfect and purify the water. From here, we've wrapped up the purification process and water makes its long journey over to Lake Jennings. Let's go see Michelle as she describes what happens next. Hi, I'm Michelle Curtis and welcome to beautiful Lake Jennings. The lake is located in Lakeside, California and is owned and operated by the Helix Water District. The lake has some fantastic recreational opportunities like fishing, camping, boating, hiking, and picnicking. But the lake is also so much more. It's a reservoir for drinking water and contains both local rainfall and imported water. And it's here that purified water treated at the East County Advanced Water Purification Facility will be added to the water in the lake. Chlorine gets removed so that the water is clean and safe for fish and wildlife. But that's not its last stop. The water goes on to the RM Levy water treatment plant, which is located across the lake for final water treatment. The water from Lake Jennings is treated at the Helix Water District's RM Levy water treatment plant, where it meets all state and federal drinking water standards for quality and safety. There's even an on-site chemistry laboratory for additional water quality testing. And once the water's been treated, it's delivered safe and clean to customers throughout our community. And this concludes our tour. On behalf of the East County Advanced Water Purification Partners, thank you for joining us to learn more about this exciting project. It's a big deal to us and we hope it's a big deal to you too. Thank you for coming on this journey with us. We have other cool activities and other videos for you to learn more about the water purification process. Go to our website to check them out. Thanks again for watching.